How's it going, everybody? My name is JJ, or I go on as my channel would say. And today I'm going to be showing you how to change your badges on Pokemon Essentials for the RPG Maker XP. So, what I mean by this is how to pretty much make your own custom badges for your game instead of using the default ones. So, if we go into Photoshop, um, this is the custom ones I've got. If we go File Open, and I'll go to my one Essentials, and then go into Pokemon Essentials, go into Graphics. Go into pictures and then along the top here you'll see badges. So open that and this is what your default is. So if you beat the first gym in your Pokemon Essentials game, you will unlock this badge here. Now the way this works is um, in the first region of the game is the top row here. So those there are your first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth gyms. If you've got a second region, that's when these badges will kick in. However, you may not want them in that order, or you may just want colourful ones or just different badges in general. That's what I'm going to be showing you today. So first and foremost, we're going to need some badges. So what I'd recommend doing is just going onto Google and looking for Pokemon, ooh, Pokemon badges PNG. There we go. I've already searched it before. Go onto images and I guess uh, that's not PNG. So we'll go for this one. Go ahead and save that. I'll just save it. My useful pictures and save it into badges. Okay, next. Go into Photoshop, file open, desktop, or wherever you wherever you saved it, obviously. And for me, it's here under badges. Now, I'll have this link in the description for you to download if you're using Photoshop. If not, I don't really know how else I can help you. Uh, but on Photoshop, I've got this, which is what I use to pretty much make the badges. So, on the top here, you've, I've got um, well, I've got these black boxes here, so you can determine how big the sizes you'll need. Um, I've also got the blue lines, but I put the black boxes there just in case if you download it, you don't have the rulers, the blue lines. So um, you'll need to 100% make sure that it's a clear background. So yeah, a PNG background. So this is the template I've got anyways for you to download and use. We'll go ahead and start. So we'll just go here, delete all these a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and go over to the badges. Um, use the select tool and say I want my first gym badge to be... Go this one. Um, there you go. Create layer via copy and go there. Duplicate onto whichever project you've got so for me it's this one um, yeah, but, and it's over here cool that's how big it is so what we do now is apply I'm gonna delete the bottom layer and I'll grab my badge and pretty much you just need to make it fit in there if you're not happy if you think that's a bit too like, scrunched a bit squeezed you can obviously just make it smaller obviously I'll probably go for that. So I'm gonna go for that's badge number one go ahead and find seven more so I'll quickly speed through this Okay, and we've done that. Uh, I'm not going to bother about the bottom row because I've only got um, I've only got one game, uh, one region in my game. So we're going to go ahead and go file save as. We're going to go just say say on the desktop, name it badges, but set the format as uh, PNG, and go ahead and uh, go ahead and save. Okay. So if you want to keep 
your original one just drag it onto your desktop but grab your new one and then simply drag it into your pictures folder and it'll be in there so we can now go back onto RPG maker and press play go into my bag but no badges so if we go into debug mode and set badges and I'm just gonna apply all the badges go back into there and as you can see the badges fit nice and perfectly if you did want to like I said make them slightly smaller uh, you can um, but the template I've given you will give you the, the exact size of the little box you have on your trainer card so fit them however you would like to hopefully that video has been helpful if it has be sure to leave a like if there's any else, anything else people are stuck with uh, be feel free to comment below and I try and do a guide on it um, I realize I'm not the best at explaining things I'm trying, I just realise uh, I've got probably a lot more things to improve on. But yeah, nevertheless, the download link for the template for Photoshop will be in the description below. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time for another video. Bye!